easiest way to describe this is that um, throughout history, we don't know whether or not light's a wave, light's a particle, and one of the biggest historical experiments was the so-called double slit experiment, where basically you're shining light down two holes in a wall. And on the other side, if light is classically particle-like, you expect to just see a big blob or two lumps. But if light's wave-like, then like waves can interfere, you see these light, dark, light, dark, light, dark fringe patterns. Um, so what we're doing actually is dealing with particles of light that still produce this interference pattern due to the laws of quantum mechanics, um, but that are entangled with each other. So they're like twins. They, they know everything about each other. And when particles know everything about each other, you normally don't see this interference um, for you know very fine details. But what we try to do is you send one down this double slit, try to get it to interfere. It doesn't because the other particle knows about it. And then we try to erase the information on the other end and try to regain the pattern after the fact. So actually, I went to his office, uh, I guess, first couple of days when I was here, right? And he recommended a book to me, and I read it, and I got interested in quantum mechanics, and I came up with a couple of ideas. Some were good, some were stupid, and over time, we sort of just talked back and forth between each other and arrived at this experiment. Being a hardcore experimentalist, there were days when I would find things very frustrating where the data sets weren't going the way they should or something yeah. like that, but i got to say, I think May 14th, I'm pretty sure is the date, because it sticks out in my head. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, when I went into the lab, and you know, because these data sets we run take several days of just close the doors, turn off the lights, and let the automated data sets go and see what you get and yeah. hope that it's finally what you want. And that morning when I went in there and looked at the data, I'm just like, this is what we've been trying to get for yeah. the last year. I mean, you know, that those moments like that, you know, you just want to go out and dance and sing for a while. Like the day when you see the data and it's, and it's what you expected and it has all the little intricacies that you expect, you know, even if it's not perfectly clean, like, then you know you did something, right? That, that it worked out, that it was worth it. I really had the chance to try to describe this at a very, very, very baseline level because the crowd was very mixed. I think it's one place where physicists often miss out, is explaining to the masses and really explaining why this is important. So it was interesting for me because it was a good exercise for seeing how well do I understand this and does that, you know, how does that translate to my ability to really bring this down to a level that someone else can understand. What works, what doesn't work in a presentation, you know. What works in a textbook isn't necessarily what's going to work in a presentation. I, I have said to other people, you know, in, in the amount of time that I've been here, I just can't, I, mean, like I can't get over how much I've grown in that amount of time and how much I've, you know, refined you know, what my specialties are. Uh, when I walked in as a freshman, I knew, like, I feel like I knew nothing at all, and, like, now I feel so confident with this work, you know, that I can really, I can talk about it, I can defend it, you know, and, uh, and it's just, it's amazing how much, how many skills and abilities I've gained during that that time period that I've been here.